Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2004 romance drama film called My Little Bride. Sang Min, a young man on a flight, smiles as he looks at a photograph of a little girl dressed in his school uniform. He then spots a lovely woman seated next to him for the flight. He is instantly attracted to her and follows her even outside the airport. However, he is taken aback when she is greeted by her husband. As a result, Sang Min stops following her and walks around the airport, checking out other girls. Meanwhile, he spots a beautiful lady in a short skirt staring at some flowers. He approaches her and slips his phone on the floor to take a peek under her skirt. However, the girl immediately notices the phone and kicks it away. As she chastises him for being a pervert, they quickly recognize each other. The young girl turns out to be Bo Eun, a childhood friend of Sang Min. The latter then passes some comments about Bo Eun's physical appearance and curves, while Bo Eun mentions that Sang Min hasn't changed a bit. Soon, they board a taxi and head towards Bo Eun's family residence. Even inside the taxi, Sang Min keeps staring at the girls walking on the road. After some time, the taxi stops in front of Bo Eun's house and she rushes inside to call her family. Everyone comes out and welcomes Sang Min. Sang Min's parents are also there and it seems like the families have known each other for a long time. Before entering inside, Sang Min asks Bo Eun's mother about her grandfather's health. She tells him to be ready for something big. In the following scene, Bo Eun is feeding her grandfather while Sang Min is sitting beside her. Her grandfather then mentions that during his young age, he made a promise to Sang Min's grandfather that their children would marry one day. As both of them only had sons, the promise could not be fulfilled and was passed on to the next generation. He then asks Sang Min and Bo Eun to fulfill that promise so he can face Sang Min's grandpa after his death. Shocked, Sang Min and Bo Eun ask their grandfather if it's a joke. They just laugh it off and walk away. The next day, Sang Min returns to his college and makes a call to his pals to let them know about his return. His friends ask why he has returned so suddenly, and he responds that it is because of a family emergency, in particular, his marriage. Elsewhere, Bo Eun is at school watching her crush play baseball. Suddenly, she remembers her grandfather saying that her marriage with Sang Min is his last wish, which makes her sad. After school, she along with her friend Taiwan are picked up by Sang Min. He takes them to a nearby cafe and offers them some snacks. After Haiwan mistakes Sang Min for a sugar daddy, Bo Eun tells her the secret that they are about to get married. Suddenly, Bo Eun gets a call and they rush to the hospital. At the hospital, Bo Eun's grandpa is lying in bed and preparing to fake his own death in order to forcibly convince Bo Eun to marry Sang Min. Just as Bo Eun and Sang Min enter the room, the machine reads no pulse, which panics both of them. The parents then come into an agreement to fulfill their stubborn elder's wish. Grandpa wakes up and keeps on mentioning how important the promise is to him. Suddenly, he fakes passing out again, and the duo reluctantly agree to marry each other. Back at home, Bo Eun is in her room crying, while her brother makes fun of her for getting married at such an early age. As he makes fun of her physical appearance, Bo Eun's mother enters the room and chases him away. She then tries to make Bo Eun feel that she will be taken care of even after her marriage. She assures her that Sang Min's parents will take care of her school and further studies. Meanwhile, Sang Min is with his friends in a bar, drinking and regretting his decision to get married at such a young age. His friends make fun of him while they check out the hot girls in the bar. The scene then shifts to Sang Min and Bo Eun's marriage, where the grandfather is standing all healthy and welcoming the guests. Haiwan is also there to support Bo Eun, and they decide to keep her marriage a secret from her friends at school. After the marriage, Sang Min and Bo Eun are sent on a honeymoon. They head out to the airport, but Bo Eun flees, lying to Sang Min that she needs to use the bathroom urgently. Angry, Sang Min boards the plane alone with a talkative couple sitting behind him. When he calls for a cab at the airport, the same couple steal it from him. Coincidentally, the couple who troubled Sang Min are also staying at the same hotel as him. Later at night, Sang Min finds the couple romancing on the balcony and throws a bucket of bathroom water on them to release his anger. In the following scene, Sang Min visits every place planned for the trip alone while being angry with Bo Eun for abandoning him. He also meets Haiwan on a field study trip that has been arranged at the same place. Elsewhere, Bo Eun is wandering around the streets as she cannot return home without Sang Min. During this time, she visits her school and meets with her crush, Jung Woo. Jung Woo approaches her, and soon they start spending time together. They start going out, and Bo Eun lies to him, telling him that she is single. After several days, Sang Min returns from the trip. When he reaches home, he finds Bo Eun standing outside waiting for him. Together, they enter the house and enjoy dinner with the family. In the next scene at school, Bo Eun catches up with her friend Hai Won and explains to her how she fled from her honeymoon and utilized the time to get closer to Jung Woo. She also tells her friend that she and Jung are dating and that she has no feelings for saying Min. Listening to this, Hai Won gets sad because it seems she also has a crush on Jung Woo. Later, three bullies threaten Bo Eun, thinking that she is spreading fake rumors about her relationship with Jung Woo. Out of nowhere, Jung Woo arrives and shoos the girls away, revealing that he and Bo Eun are actually dating. After school, Sang Min and Bo Eun visit a supermarket to get the ingredients they need to make spaghetti for dinner. Together, they cook a tasty meal and enjoy it. In the next scene, Sang Min senior Ji Su gives Sang Min an internship assignment as an art teacher in Bo Eun's school. 
Hearing this, Sangmin is shocked and screams in frustration. Later at home, he tries his best to tell Bowoon about the news of his internship, but fails. The next morning after dropping Bowoon off at the school, Sangmin also enters and asks some students about the faculty office. He is then welcomed by the principal and a female teacher, Miss Kim. Following that, she takes Sangmin to introduce him to his new class. When Miss Kim takes him to Bo Un's class, she is surprised to see Sangmin as her new teacher. The next day, Bo Un saves Sangmin from being embarrassed in front of the class. Later, Sangmin is warned by Hai Wan, who asks him to take care of his wife's actions. While he is confused by the warning, Miss Kim approaches him and asks him to join her for lunch. Despite Sangmin's refusal, she forces him to eat food from her lunchbox, with the whole school watching them. Bo Un also watches them enjoying their time and feels a little bit jealous. Later at night, Bo Eun tries to study but cannot concentrate because of the loud music Sangmin is playing outside. She rushes outside and snatches the remote from him to turn off the TV. Sangmin gets annoyed and the two start arguing. While they are arguing, Miss Kim arrives, looking for Sangmin. They manage to hide their wedding photo and Bo Eun's belongings before Miss Kim enters the apartment. However, Bo Eun does not get the chance to leave so she hides behind a curtain. When Miss Kim gets near her, she wraps the curtain around her and runs wildly out of the apartment. In the next class, one of the female students asks Sangmin to tell them about his first love. Sangmin tells him that his first love is the only girl who visited him during his military days. Sangmin is looking at Baoon when he is explaining all of this, but she is thinking of Jisoo as the girl who might have visited him. Later during the day, Sangmin gets a letter from his friend about being invited to a military training camp. The scene then shifts to the training camp where Sangmin and his friends are enjoying their training. During lunchtime, Bo Eun arrives there with a the lunchbox for Sang Min, and everybody is surprised to see her. While he is having lunch, Sang Min's seniors approach him and make him do some harsh training. Bo Eun cannot stand this and confronts the seniors to leave her husband alone. Seeing Bo Eun defend him, Sang Min gets happy. Later, the married couple gets into trouble with some goons on the road. They are brought to the police station where the officer doesn't believe them that they are married, and instead suspects them of being an illegal couple. Left with no other choice, Sangmin calls the principal who knows about their marriage and asks for help. In no time, the principal arrives there with Ms. Kim and bails them out. However, Ms. Kim is heartbroken after finding out that Sangmin is actually married to Bo Eun. The next day at school, an angry Ms. Kim assigns Bo Eun to paint a huge wall with a picture before their upcoming festival. Seeing Ms. Kim being unfair to Bo Eun, Sangmin approaches her and asks her to change Bo Eun's task, but she refuses and walks away. Afterward, we see Bo Eun trying to paint the huge wall. To help his wife, Sangmin stays after school alone and paints the wall assigned to Bo Eun. The next day, while Bo Eun and Haiwan are painting the wall, Ms. Kim arrives there to inspect and reminds them about the festival approaching. After painting, Haiwan asks Bo Eun if she is taking care of Sangmin's meals. Bo Eun replies that he is very troublesome and she cannot take care of him constantly. On the other hand, Sangmin is chasing his friends, asking them to help him paint the wall. After Sangmin promises to provide them with snacks, they finally agree to help. Sangmin with his friends finish painting the wall with a beautiful picture of a boy pushing a small girl on a swing. Elsewhere, Bo Eun's brother asks his friends to record him as he is planning to hit on a girl. Just then, his friends notice Bo Eun with the other guy, Jung Woo. They start recording them without Bo Eun's brother's knowledge. Later that evening, the entire family sits down to have their monthly dinner together. Meanwhile, Bo Eun is enjoying her time with Jung Woo and forgets about the dinner. When everyone starts asking about Bo Eun, Sangmin messages her and reminds her to come back as soon as possible. After some time, Bo Eun arrives and joins them for dinner. After dinner, Bo Eun's brother asks everyone to get ready because he is going to reveal his girlfriend. He then plays the video that he asked his friends to shoot. While the video continues, footage of Bo Eun with Jung Woo starts playing. Everyone is shocked to see this, and an embarrassed Bo Eun runs away to the nearest park. Regretting what she did, she starts crying while sitting on a swing. Sangmin follows her and arrives at the park. He then explains to her about how he used to push her on the swing when she was small. After hearing this, Bo Eun apologizes to him and returns home. In the following scene when Bo Eun cannot find Sangmin around, she calls Jisoo, who tells her that Sangmin must be painting the wall with his friends. After learning of this, Bo Eun rushes to check the laundry to find Sangmin's clothes covered with paint. Realizing his efforts, Bo Eun runs towards her school to take a look at the wall. When she sees the wall beautifully painted with the picture of a boy helping a girl play on a swing, she remembers her childhood in Sangmin helping her. At home, Bo Eun also finds a letter that she wrote for Sangmin during his military days. Here, she understands that she is the girl which Sangmin was talking about in his class before. Finally, it's the day of the school festival. All the students are happy and excited. Bo Eun tries to find Sangmin among the crowd, but fails. Later, she talks to Jung Woo and breaks up with him. She then sits with Hai Wan and asks her about Sang Min. Hai Wan points out the place where she could find Sang Min. 
After the Mean Girls performance, it's Sang-min's turn to give a speech about his internship experience. While Sang-min is expressing his feelings about the internship, he gets disturbed by one of the Mean Girls. The Mean Girl then exposes Sang-min and Bo-eun's marriage to the crowd. Everyone in the crowd starts booing him, but Sang-min asks them not to judge Bo-eun for getting married at an early age. He explains to them that she got married just to fulfill her grandfather's last wish, and nothing else. In the last scene, Bo Eun also comes on the stage and expresses her feelings towards him. She makes it clear that she is not a child anymore and that she loves him very much. Upon hearing this, Sangmin becomes very happy and kisses Bo Eun in front of the crowd, while everyone claps for them.